I mean, you don't know where it's gonna go. I'm serious, like, because I realized I was like, I can't like bring up a bunch of super specific stories. Right. Why not? Because we're not all gonna be like versed in on them. So, so I'm gonna bring that- up bigger ideas like what does our world look like okay. with alien interaction all right how do we coincide with each other well let's roll this shit let's get it all right let's do it hello everyone i'm already recording oh okay <laughs> <laughs> hello everyone and welcome to what's on talk why what's on talk shit because i want to know don't you here what's on talk with play like you said uncut and unedited so make sure you subscribe so we don't miss out on all the hot topics yet to come. Like to be a guest on the show? Hit me up in the comments. Have a hot topic you'd like to hear discuss? Also, hit me up in the comments. And always remember, it is absolutely free to like, share, and subscribe. You can also find me on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Yes, and sir. we're going to meet our guests. We got some special shit for you guys right now. I'm telling you, this is some special. So don't y'all go nowhere. We're going to meet our guests. And then we're going to get this rolling. So whoever want to go first, y'all set that shit up. What's going on, guys? Obviously, we already heard the introduction. I don't have much for tonight, but we want to bring up UFOs. We want to talk about what's going on up in the skies and how does it affect us down on the ground. So hopefully Josh and uh, Paul can feed off this and see where we go. Okay. All right, then. Shit. What you got over there? Yo, more bliss, more life. It's your boy, Seven Points of Bliss, a.k.a. Pomegranate Samurai. And uh, like always, it's an honor to be here on Wizzo Talks with, uh, with the with the guys on Old Hollow's Eve. And uh, if you're looking for any of my content, you can always just check me out after Real Truth on uh, Google, and you'll find everything you need to find, man. Let's get into it, man. All right. We're going to get into it. Now, Josh, earlier today, I text you and asked you to help me with a topic, and I fucking forgot it. Oh, hold on, man. Let me so, let me let me go yeah, into the messages into it, and, I and, and I don't pull it up. So y'all y'all just stay tuned because I, I just fucking forgot and it was something. One of the words was optic, uh, some shit. I forgot what it was. So y'all guys, like I said, we talk about some spaceships, talking about shit up in the sky. Is it real? Is it Crazy. not? Is it facts and fiction? It got some fire shit for y'all. Cause I I could have pulled it up too, but shit. Now, yeah. Hold up, don't go nowhere. Um, where is that? Where is that? Well, anyway, we gonna go and get it going. Uh, so we, we be messaging each other so much. Yeah, I don't even fucking know where it's at because it's way down in the feed. But anyway, <laughs> it's that's off okay. in the weeds. That's okay. It's off in the weeds. It's off in the feed. We'll come. We'll All come right. later. Let's go on with it. Go on with it then. Shit, let's go. What we got? So what you got, man? This is these aliens. Are we alone or are we not? That's question one. And I think there's an obvious answer to it. There's been too many sightings, too many abduction stories, too many interactions from the government potentially taking step on fake abductions. I've heard stories on that too. Is it the government phasing these? Is it an actual alien threat? I don't know, right? I personally don't think we're alone, right? I 100% think there's actual aliens now whether the government has taken part in it and stepped in I, I have no idea right but there's a lot of uh mystique going around with it right. no it is well it is it's spicy too dog for real well i definitely think that the universe is too damn big for us to be the only ones here yeah i mean i can't prove it enough. all the other abductions that's been had uh for we talked about it once before where the government was saying there's no UFOs, there's no UFOs, and now all of a sudden they're saying there is UFOs, so there are UFOs, you know, so have we ever seen any? No, I haven't seen one. Or really? have I? And shit, I don't know. You're not going to know. I have. You're not going to know. Oh, I've you seen know. plenty in my day. Here we are this Halloween in Chicago. night. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. You seen them in Chicago? Yeah, a lot. You know what I'm saying? My first, uh, my first sighting of UFO, I was a, a little kid. I had to be about... 10 or 11 and i was actually when my mom when my mom thought i was outside in the backyard you know what I'm saying? because we lived in this uh apartment complex and it was a six flat so it was like three apartments on each side and i used to she would think i'd be playing out in the backyard and i would climb up to the roof you know what i'm saying at night you know what i mean i would just sit there and just look at the stars and one day i seen one that was shaped like a pyramid and it was in the sky, Damn. and I got, I had climbed out and told my mom, I'm like, yo, I seen a pyramid-shaped UFO. And she's like, you just seeing stuff. And then, as an adult, um, 
I lived on another high rise, but I lived on the 16th floor, and you could see so much. And uh, me and my ex-wife, we would see UFOs all the time, but she would just be like, that's not a UFO. And I'm like, well, damn sure in an airplane or a helicopter, right. because they don't just sit like that, and they usually have flashing lights. And then if you actually go Google it, you will find that uh, O'Hare Airport and other airport in Chicago has a very large amount of UFO sightings in the airport mm, itself. That's some crazy shit. So interesting. Yeah, okay. it, it, it is nuts, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, man, and I, have y'all ever heard about the face pillows of Peru? No. Yeah. What's going on with that? that and that's recent, man, and that's about that's happened uh, this year. Um, the Peru people have been saying that there's these extraterrestrials that come down and abduct them. And they peel the people's faces off. You know what I'm saying? Just leave them oh, dead on the beach. Smart. And this video is of people just dead on the beach with no faces. You can see them, the people Where is this in it? Peru. <laughs> yeah. And Where they're it? dragging them. And like the people is like dragging them, trying to get them up, oh. like the federal agents. And there's no, uh, you could just see straight skull. Took the face right off. Yeah, no blood, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? And it's like literally like all you see, it's almost like the cattle mutilations. I don't know if y'all ever kept up with that, but the yeah, cattle mutilations yeah. didn't have any blood yeah. either. And it's just bone. And that's wow. how it was. And then when they talk to it, it's a little video of a little boy in Peru. And they're talking to him about it because he's seen them. And he said that the people had came when the, one of them was trying to get him and the people had came and they started shooting at it. And they said they seen these red lights on the bottom of their fucking feet, right? And they what? motherfucking started walking on the air and running. They ran off in the what? air. So this is the crazy part because this is going to get into what you were talking about. The federal the agents yeah, the government. So they finally catch these motherfuckers on camera, the aliens. Bro, why are these motherfuckers like some villain from fucking Spider-Man, dog? They on fucking hoverboards. Yo, wait a minute. What? Oh, wait a minute. The elephant. The elephant. I'm saying the fucking elephant. The aliens uh, on a hover, hoverboard. The, not hoverboards what? like with the wheels, but yeah. hoverboards like they, like it look like it's the ones that the uh, Marines use. You, the Marines got two kind, one that attached to their hands that they propel yeah, with, and then they yeah, got the yeah. ones that they stand on, kind of like the Green Goblin on Spider Man. <sighs> Bro, it look like a motherfucker in a suit, a, a regular ass dude. So you're thinking this is a government agents abducting yeah. or peel, face peeling yeah. these? Because you got to think about it, man. Over time, it, it's been shown that the government work with these extraterrestrials. You know what I'm saying? They said they even have a, a deal with them. You know what I'm saying? And they're using their technology. And what's the best way to understand technology if you're not going to use it like the extraterrestrials? But how they, how they going to commu how they communicate with them shit? I mean, Easy. Yeah. You don't need... We, like, we actually have been dumbed down. You know what I'm saying? And in the Bible and in other holy texts, they tell you that our actual language was taken from us and all our languages were split. You know what I mean? And the deeper uh, uh, connotations in that would be that we used to all be able to speak telepathically. So you don't need language. You know what I'm saying? Language is actually a lower yeah. form of communication. You know what I'm saying? So these aliens don't need to talk if they know how to talk to you in your mind. You know what I mean? Even our ancestors have shown us that you don't need to talk to necessarily uh, transfer information. You can leave behind pictures. The pictures are worth a thousand words. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like these extraterrestrials, they, they communicate through um, the cornfields with the, the little signs in the cornfields. Yeah. So it's like, man, it's all different type of ways for them to communicate. So basically, the government has just saying. been playing us this whole time. They yeah. already knew everything. They it's told you that, though, us. in that Mean in Black movie, though. They told you that because the original Mean in Black weren't called the Mean in Black. You know what they were called? The Majestics. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they were called. And if you look up the Majestics, you're going to find out that, you know what I'm saying, um, who was the president who was like, I am not a crook. What's his name? <laughs> that motherfucker, uh, 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 that, got impeached. Yeah. That's the dude who got the, who started that shit. Really? Yeah. Uh, Damn. He started wow. the whole majestic shit. He started doing his presidency, bro. So, so what? What's the ultimate move if the government's working with the aliens? What What do you think is like? What's the, What's the point of it to like demonize these aliens Not you know, against the people? Or what do you think? Man, I'm seeing my what? opinion. What you want? No, I was gonna say? say you were saying how they was working with him and all that. Shit. Yeah, that's what I'm confused on. Yeah, stuff. wait, you, you gotta know, start to knowledge. You gotta start to understand that. You ever seen a movie called They Live? 
Piper. With Rowdy Piper. Piper. Bro, you got to check that out tonight, man. It's good. It's good watch for Halloween, man. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, it was going to show how uh, we think a lot of people are humans and we and they actually are aliens and we've been infiltrated by these aliens and the world is being pushed towards their agenda. And if you really sit and watch the entire planet, how it is now, you will start to see that our planet and our bodies, right, which are um smaller planets if you can understand that science like you know what i'm saying it's a whole ecosystem within us just like our planet has pressure our body has pressure you know what i'm saying we have ecosystems within us everything is being terraformed right now but we don't pay attention to the subtle signs mm -hmm. as a child i was looking at something i think it was the movie war of the worlds and then i was looking outside i'm like wait a minute they're doing the same fucking thing the aliens came on War of Wars and they was taking people and they was spraying the shit, they blood and shit in the air, making all these veins on the ground. That's no different than them chemtrail Yeah. And you know, I, one thing I have noticed that when you see, uh, they show us a movie or some shit, mm -hmm. then later on that shit is really real. Because they have yeah. to tell you. They, yeah. Through the cosmic law of karma, it has to be given to you. The information has to be given to you because if they don't give the information to you, right, and you don't accept it, Right, karma goes back on them, mm -hmm. and that fucks their plans up. So they have to give you the information without telling them. Right, they because people are not gonna believe it, but they have to give you that information, though. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. like uh, they show you in these new alien movies that um, they was they changing DNA and they doing all this DNA modification. This is what they've been doing though with the vaccine, the RNA. Shit, the RNA makes the DNA. Yeah. They've been changing us slowly, yeah. because but now they have to start changing us because they've been changing our planet. And they try to complain to us about global warming, right? But really, it's a slow change of the planet. They terraforming it. If you think about it, just think about it. Yeah, they're not going to tell us shit. Of course they're not, though, because yeah. they, they don't want no mass panic, though. But then that's also why they tell motherfuckers, like, um, y'all have heard of the Georgia guy songs? They tell motherfuckers they got to have a certain amount of people dead. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They tell you this. That's some crazy shit. You know, just one, just one quick little thing off, off subject, or whatever. So I'm looking at the camera right here, and I'm looking at Dice, and he got me laughing like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he got the shades on and the glasses, and it's like, damn man, shit. <laughs> What the fuck ever, man? For real? It's like he just fucking dog. Look at him. You like what? Y'all look at him. What, right is, what is his eyes doing? doing? Yeah, like what is his eyes doing? His eyes roll back or some shit. Like man, for real. A lot, of that, but, yeah, but that's some crazy shit. What, though, can can we not? Coexist with the aliens? What does our world look it's like with about, them? What does it look a, like with it's them? It's not about coexisting because if you look at what life is like right now, we're already coexisting with them. I was about to say that. You know what I'm saying? Look at like, look how technology has boomed, bro. And they say the military is always uh, 60 to 100 years more advanced than whatever the public has in technology. That's crazy. It's not really that crazy because when they brought out Siri for the iPhone, a lot of, I heard a lot of military dudes talking about some. Oh man, we had that shit back when. So we was using that shit out in the field. Well, they had the internet and all <laughs> yeah. that shit before, way before they released. Yeah, hey, a lot of people don't even know that the the highways and expressways they not for civilians, dog. That's owned by the military. Highways and expressways were made for the military to be able to move military equipment around, so just in case there was a war. So they can get the stuff where they need to get it too fast. You better not take their ass up Interstate 35. Oh. Been locked up. Shit. They just don't. They just gonna push you out the way. Well, yeah, they can do that too because they got the equipment to do it. So, but y'all here we're on this Halloween night. We're just talking about the uh, shit. I don't even. Y'all really know. gotta check them face pillars of Peru out, man. Yeah. Because <laughs> when you see that dude on that hoverboard, bro, you are gonna be like, what the? Fuck? I gotta see. So, so is it a human or alien on the hoverboard? It to me like a dude in like, a suit. Where where can the viewers find this video? Just Google it. Is is available on Google? Bro, listen, you can find all the everything that I talk <laughs> about is open source information. Yeah. You can easily do your own research and find it. And you can find a video of the little boy talking about the alien and how they be peeling people's face off. Yeah, he sent me a lot of stuff and I watched some of it too. And I hadn't don't want to watch the whole thing because when I be at work, ah, they be long. They be nice. Some some would be long. long. So I I watch a little of it. It's it's some shit that's. Yeah. It's out there. Yeah. It's, it's out there for shit. sure. I mean, 
But then you can't even find videos of government officials talking about um, different species of aliens. One one white dude, he was really Damn. terrified when he was talking about these aliens. He was like, it's eight feet tall black people. And he was terrified. Oh, yeah. He said they're very militant and organized. <laughs> I was like, sound like it's a Black Panthers and went to outer space shit. You know what I'm saying? Dude was ter- dude was terrified, bro. He was like the dude, he was just like he couldn't even imagine no shit like that. And when he seen it, it's like it broke him. They gonna get his ass, you know what I'm saying? But it's all different types of species of aliens out there. And a lot of the historical stuff shows that a lot of these animals are actually um lower frequency versions of these aliens like before they were more became more evolved what do you mean like by dogs that? cats all these animals are lower evolved forms of the aliens that's why a lot of the aliens have been shown and on faces yeah but it's not just that but a lot of the aliens were shown humanoid like you know if you look at um the hieroglyphics and you go into uh, ancient uh, Indian stuff, not just Indian like here, but Indian overseas and stuff like that. If you look at their stuff, a lot of their stuff have animal heads and humanoid bodies. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Right. And even the Indians of 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 America have shown that they've had gods that were ant people. You know what I mean? Damn. So it's like insectoids. So it's like man, a lot of these animals are a lot more advanced than us. Like ants have seven brains. Throughout their bodies, and people don't know that. A fucking ant. A ant <laughs> has seven. Ra- they don't even need to sleep, bro. Ants don't they sleep. Probably don't. But I know they're strong as hell. When I be exactly back at this, all this something look like ten times their damn body yeah, weight. Yeah, they can shit, do that, so but I mean, that's how advanced they are. And we think we're so advanced because we're so big, but we have no idea, man. We have no idea. People don't understand the power and what's really going on genetically. That's why people need to pay more attention to the terraforming of the planet, man. And people really need to pay attention to these wars because at the end of the day, a lot of these wars are really just things to dwindle down our numbers. You know what I mean? You ever pay, you ever pay attention to a real war? They take your numbers down first and then they send the real enemy in. But who the real enemy, though? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You think aliens gonna come here and just start murdering us? Or you think aliens gonna motherfucker infiltrate our shit and make us kill ourselves and then pop out? I think I think kind of the, the sentiment you're speaking on is like what the government has wanted that they want us to be against these alien threat. The reality is they might be very benevolent and nice and wanting to advance humans into the future and provide technologies and medicine and stuff like that, but the government is withholding it and coinciding with them, creating this false image like you got face peelers and stuff running around. You're getting close. You got other people getting abducted, waking up, missing years of their life. You're getting close, dog. You gotta think. You gotta think just a tad bit deeper. The government Dang. are aliens. The government, the people that we run by, are aliens, and they want to use us as slaves, and that's why they try to keep the good aliens away. Well, when we say. The government, like, we're talking the deep people in government charge. Or, the, the, or, uh, the people that's in charge. It, you have to think about this too, though, man. Um, they gonna have the, just like any other any other thing. They are gonna have their front men and they have their main people. You know what I'm saying? Just pulling the strings behind them. So the people that's in our face, a lot of them are what people would like to refer to as something like a skinwalker. But a skinwalker in native terms would be more like a witch. But these type of skinwalkers are people that put on like a suit. It's more like a hologram. You know what I mean? Because our reality is based on light frequency. You know what I mean? So technically, if you know how molecules work and how you see them and your mind can actually control molecules so... You form reality with your mind, right? That's why we all perceive reality to be different. You know what I'm saying? That's why like uh, everybody has a personality. A personality is a personal reality. We all see things differently. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So these beings can use light, light-based light frequency, which light is nothing but the highest form of sound. And they can make these perceptions and personas for themselves to make us think that is skin, but it's really an apparatus. And that's why a lot of people, like, uh, you be finding videos, people eyes be shifting and stuff like that. Like, really? The, uh, right, shifting. because the camera, the camera affects up how on. you see, right. 
it affects how you see things. The camera's gonna see something different. Like you can have something that's spinning really fast, and then you put it on a camera, and it'd be like it's spinning slow, like it's standing still almost, because it all depends on the um, frame rate. So who who would be some of the aliens within the government right now? Who so who she can uh, we... our president. So. Hell yeah, they show a lot of videos of shit going on with his skin, like mask and shit. <laughs> then they showed you that he don't even look the same way though. Yeah, he he is throw that motherfucker down. He, uh, yeah. but anybody you have to think about this. Anybody put in power is one of them. Nobody is truly for us because that would completely. The last president that was for us, they blew his fucking brains out. Come on, dog. Think. You got to truly think. And he was the one that was going to motherfucker put the aliens on the table and tell everybody about them. Why did they kill him? Who? Kennedy. Exactly. Kennedy. Kennedy. You know, that's why I said they blowed his brains out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> hey, Lincoln. Hey, Lincoln. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? You went way back <laughs> to the wood dentures, dog. It's for the people. It's for the people. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I'm with you on some of that, but I just don't know. But then again, it, it could be because you already didn't told me, say, we like... We're not that level of thinking that you that you're on. And me, I'm thinking that it's some motherfuckers out there that we're not the only ones. But I never thought about it. Like, cause think about how they move, dog. If you really was for humanity and you really for your people, are you really gonna be starting wars and sending people out there? They've been doing this for a long time. You gotta understand that we dealing with beings that don't have the same lifespan that we have. You know what I'm saying? Some of these some of these beings can live for hundreds of thousands of years. But that's a crazy part, though. Because if you look at holy texts, a lot of those people were living for 500, 600 years. You know, look how old Noah was. That's what I'm saying. Like A lot of people don't think about this type of stuff, bro. And it was stated in these holy documents that they changed our DNA so that we can't live for that long no, anymore. You think that those people, that, I mean, back in the day, they really lived? You think Noah really lived that long? Yeah, I believe that. Because you have to think about how cell your cellular rate is and stuff like that. We are the most advanced technology. We we be looking for like, um, what do they call that shit? The little tiny robotics. I don't forget what they call it, man. Uh, nanotech. 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 We, but our body is the most advanced nanotech there is, though. You don't tell your body to heal. It doesn't. It. Yeah. Everything happens on a cellular level. If you look at videos of your cells that they show you online, it's literally whole ecosystems of beings doing their job. You know what okay. I'm saying? And that's why they try to tell you that you are God. Because you have beings within you that worship you. You know what I'm saying? You don't tell you that you're hungry. Your body tells you that it's hungry. And by you giving your body what it needs, that's like you praying to God. God, please send me this, send me this. Your body is praying and you answering that prayer. You are God to the beings within you. You know what I'm saying? And you have dimensions of, in, of, of information and beings within you. That's what I'm saying. It's critical that people watch certain movies so they can get an understanding and think differently. That's why Ant-Man is such a pivotal movie. Because they show you, you have worlds within worlds in your body. Right. And we don't think like that. Yeah. And they will say that, uh, that you know, that, uh, God damn, I had my, had my thought right there. Did that before they gave <laughs> Intermission. Away. Intermission. I'll run us commercial here. Commercial break. What's going on, guys? Appreciate you guys tuning in. We're having a good time running it down. Josh is obviously about to jump into consciousness, I feel like, next. It's getting crazy. I'm just trying to hang out on a rope stand here. <laughs> So when I see my moment, I'll jump in on the convo, but uh, it's, a, it's a wild ride. So you guys stay tuned and uh, let's keep going. And we're back. Just like that. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. I mean, talking about the aliens wise. So, I mean, you know, we've seen, I think it was out in Arizona or somewhere or something like that. The guy was talking about he was abducted. 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 Yeah, I know what I'm saying. Abducted. Abduct yeah, that word. Taken up, beamed up to the ship. Boom. So, I mean, what are your thoughts on that? You think that he probably really was, or he just, you know. I but it's been happened so many times. They drugged him. They drugged him. They've been drugging the people. That's they, what one of the guys. Deep state government. Deep state government figures have been ploying, and this is what, again, from one of the sources I've heard on a podcast, They've been employing it to abduct people. Same K of like MK Ultra, the CIA ran it like heavy dosing LSD on people to get them to loosen up enough, drop their mental state 
to where they can read off these people and use it as a coercion technique, right? It's the same thing. They develop these drugs, right, where they drug these people, take them up, right? And yeah, they're they're getting they're getting kidnapped, they're getting abducted legitimately, but they're feeding them all these different sorts of drugs, hallucinogenics. They think it's aliens. They're dressed up in costumes and stuff like that. Then they're sent down, memories wiped with who knows what technology, and then it's ployed as an alien deal. It's fake. But, it's what, get, but where are they getting this tech from, though? The tech, the tech has been stolen. It's been stolen off of the aliens. They've come down. They've crashed craft, whatever the case is. They come down. They've stolen this technology from them. Mm-hmm. It's been gifted, and it's been edited from there for the use within the government. So then the, the theory is, at least what I've heard it to be, is that it's all coming together for the one world united force against the outer space. But you don't think that these aliens have infiltrated our planet at all? These are supreme intelligent beings. You think they could out, outthink some They're fucking benevolent. Some They're, monkeys? They're above it. They're above it. That's what you have to think. And that's what I'm trying to get into is like, what does life look like with them? Because they don't see the same things we do. They already do. At all. You got to look, look, even look at how the Israel people and the Palestine people treat each other. One obviously thinks they're better than the other one, right? They, they, they don't, dude. If they're thousands of years above where we're at, dude, they're above that. It's not. I wouldn't say that one. Because even the aliens fight each other. How do we know? Because you can, you obviously can see it. Look at us. To them, we are aliens, and we be shooting shit out of them. They might be united within a federation, they waiting, could be. waiting for the humans to come along, but we're being kingpinned by the government to not be able to join in. They might have been wanting to have humans get out into this federation for a long. But then time. you also got to look at the fact that <laughs> they say that we already have aliens here. Yeah. You still gotta look at that though, because the oldest, the oldest known species of aliens on this planet, and this actually is supposed to be their planet, are the reptiles, the reptoids or the reptilians. Reptile people. They come from the inner earth, yeah. and that the and that, inner leads earth? To, that leads to a whole oh, another inner earth. What's going on with that? Cause you, so, so this is the thing, man. What's going on? With you that? telling me the dinosaurs is on a planet for millions of years, right? And they never even evolved. Have you seen the movie Journey to the Center of the Earth? Mm-hmm. And they fly through the center of the Earth yep. on this deal, and they're in like this diamond cave, and they fall down. And there's yep. dinosaurs loaded on the inside and stuff. Is that what you're talking about? There's... I'm talking about. I'm talking about some shit like Iron Sky, dog. Have you ever seen that? Yeah. Yeah. Sound like I'm behind like a motherfucker. Shit. I ain't Scott. I ain't Scott Deep, man. They thought the Nazis was on some shit, but on the, the Nazis was actually the motherfucking aliens. Yeah. But the, mm. do you wait, so you've only seen the first one. Have you you haven't seen I've the seen second? I've seen clips. I've only seen clips. What? I've only seen clips. Man, it you was just real... talk about that shit like you watched it, man. <laughs> it was real janky. I don't know why I, I didn't give it a chance. I'm you sure gotta chance. give it a chance. But just cause it's janky don't mean anything. Sometimes <laughs> the truth can come in a very cheesy ass form. Mm-hmm. And the fact that you didn't sit to take in that information, it, it sometimes people will give you the truth and make it cheesy like that so you won't watch it. Yeah. What's in the center of this earth then? But they say it's a whole another sun and a whole another planet, what's, man. What's, what's in there? They say the dinosaurs, extraterrestrials. And they also say that uh there's a hole there's holes at the poles. Holes at the poles. Holes at the poles of the center of the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Holes in the poles, man. I wasn't going to be They say there are massive holes at the poles of the planet, man. You can fly in, man. What? So, see, y'all, I've never thought about the center of the fucking earth, none of that shit. I don't know. Well, it's just just been taught as cross mantle core, right? Or pre core than core. But it sounds like Josh is proposing a hollow earth theory. Yeah. But if you look at the if you look at the planet that they be talking about, right? It's a ball of hot lava in the middle of the planet spinning. Yeah. How different is that than a ball of plasma in the center of the fucking Earth, bro? They never went to the center of the planet. They just telling you some theoretical shit. They don't know. They can't get there. Exactly. They already- or have they been there and they gonna tell your ass the truth? Or is that the center of the Earth, the biblical version of hell? 
Could be. And they make it seem like it's bad so your ass don't want to go. Or is it leading into Dante's Inferno? It's not levels, man. With many levels that you descend upon going down. What I know is that the government not going to tell us any goddamn thing. Of course, no, they're not. Because that's, the that's what they control they're is. Gonna, yeah. They're not going to tell us any damn thing. There was, a, there was a group of Russians out in, like, the Arctic, and they their mission was to dig the deepest hole they possibly could. They were digging, 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 and it melted the drill. As they were going down, it got so hot. But the deal is, they, they filled it now, apparently. Mm -hmm. The deal is, they got freaked out because they started hearing screams come out from the deal. I bet. From down inside. So they shut down the operation, they filled the hole up, and that was it. Crazy oh, theory on that, screams. too. Yeah, there were screams like, coming out of the deal. So then, like, the theory was, like, well, they, they dug in the hell, dude. And then, uh, also, yeah. uh, science has shown that from the scanning of the planet, which they've got evolved enough to scan the planet, apparently, that there are, there are bodies of water what? in the planet larger than the bodies of water on the crust of the planet. Like an aquifer or, like... Something bigger than that. Three times bigger than the like ocean. A water bro. table? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. water underneath the land. Yeah. There's even more water. Fresh water. They don't know what kind of water it is, it's just more water. But they've even shown you science that um certain parts <laughs> of the ocean they dive down and they find lakes within the lake, the lake within the sea or something like that. That is crazy. I've you seen those, yeah. Right. So it's like when you dive into that, you go even deeper, man. Yeah. Deeper in there? Yeah. Yeah. And that's and that's how crazy it is because a lot of these a lot of these stories are telling us that a lot of these extraterrestrials are actually in the oceans and the seas. I've heard that too. But then they also say that's why NASA always trains underwater for space simulation. All space simulation training is underwater. I mean, I I, I get I get that because I mean water is but then even they, even in your Bible extent. would tell you that the heavens are water. The sky cracked open, and what came from the firmament? Water. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he said water. <laughs> Man, I, uh, so you telling me that's not deep? Well, I, yeah, I don't know if we're going into a flat earth at that point. I mean, it's all about perspective. You, you know, firmament, to... atmosphere, if you will, right? Yeah. Firmament, clouds, atmosphere, what comes out of the clouds is water. Water rains down on the earth, right? So, you know, there's that kind of But the water come the up from the earth to make the clouds. Of course. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> it's different, though. We talk about, we talk about where all the water came from. Because even on comments, water is coming in. You know what I'm saying? It's ice coming off them joints. Those are the things that seed yeah. these planets with all the minerals and the life. So, you know what I'm saying? Water is out there. And then, you, know what the, you know what they say, man. Where there's water, there's life. So, on the alien note, what makes you think that these aliens have to be just human size? We could be talking about aliens so so advanced, bro, that they are germs and they could take over your mind. Because you got to think about like we have, we have mushrooms that could take over the minds of animals. That is crazy. You know what I'm yeah, yeah, that's crazy. You know, and then the oldest um the oldest life forms that we have actually on the planet older than everything, right? Our mitochondrial DNA. Mitochondrial DNA is the, old, the oldest life form on the planet. Matter of fact, everybody has mitochondrial DNA. And you could be you could track your family lineage back through your mitochondrial DNA. But the beautiful thing about that is it's only maternal though. Yeah. It is only passed through the yeah. mother. Only mothers, yeah. only a woman can pass the mitochondrial. Yeah. But it's very powerful though. It is. This produces a lot of energy in your body, man. You know what I'm saying? Because mitochondrial DNA actually produces a form of uh, bioelectricity. ATP. Turn you up. Yeah. It's biochemistry. Was... <laughs> yeah, it yeah, is. It is, it is, it is. And, and honestly, man, yeah. this is the oldest living being on the planet. Even the dinosaurs have mitochondria. Everything has mitochondria. Mitochondrial DNA is so potent, you can find it in the soil. And that's how they be tracing people back to what land masses they come from. Because within the women, 
the mitochondria, if the mitochondria doesn't match what's in the soil, then they're not from them. Mm -hmm. And it's potent like that, bro. That's crazy. So that's what I'm saying. How do you know that these things right there like that just ain't taking over people? And changing them. They they could be. I mean, I don't know necessarily, you know, what we're dealing with. I'm thinking, you know, the little gray guys you see in the movie. They say that those the are humans. From the, they say that those are humans from the future you know? coming back to the past because they didn't fucked up the genetic gene pool so that much. Bad. It made them all into gray little men. Yeah, but then you also crazy. you also hear that a lot of the more advanced species use those as drones. Drones? Yeah, they send them now so they don't have to come. But hey, I man, go take care of this. They're the henchmen <laughs> of the space of the space alien world. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So what do y'all think that that image of them of these aliens came from? Because you notice all of them kind of seems. Alike, the big eyes, this and that. But you gotta think about the, the environment that the environment that they have to deal with. That's what they would have to be formed to. Almost Low like not, lights, yeah, almost like not no turning sunlight, yeah. pale yeah. skin, no need for lifting anything. Yeah, because no activity, yeah, no gravity. So a lot of technology, a lot of you know, mind, giant head, big brain, mind type stuff, very yeah. slender bodies. They don't need to. Like, look at look at the no, look at nocturnal animals versus the animals is like that. Huge eyes on an owl. Right, man. Mm -hmm. uh, the lemur monkeys and stuff like that. The New World monkeys. Boom. They all got yeah. big eyes. You know Adapt what I'm saying? For the environment. Yeah. Yeah. So do we so uh I believe it was um Arizona, I think they had that first sighting where one supposed to have ship supposed to have crashed there in Arizona. Y'all familiar with that or something? Arizona. Think it was Arizona. Roswell over there? That's New Mexico. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah they, that they, was played they, off too. That oh. was crazy. That that was reports coming out from before the Air Force. I think it was like the Army Air Corps or something like that. It was something before the Air Force got founded. They put out in the paper, found downed UFO yeah. with remnants. The next day, wiped it from the paper. Nobody said anything about this. Wiped it from the paper. Weather balloon comes down, but there's reports of the guys out there with the materials bending it in their hand and crumbling mm -hmm. up, takes back to full shape again. Mm. Yeah. Memory metal mm. type material out there. And I heard that uh, some of that metal actually um, responds to emotional energy. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it changes the frequency of the metal and stuff like that. That te the technology out here is crazy. Way it's a guy beyond. named uh, what's his name, Billy Madison. Y'all ever heard of that guy? No. And he was taking pictures of the aliens, UFOs. Uh, they would come down and get them and take them to other planets and stuff Damn. like that. You know what I mean? All different types of stuff. Wow, I've not heard of him. Yeah, bro, cold, cold stuff, man. The aliens, they they was coming to get them, bro, and they was taking them to other worlds, showing them. What were they showing them? Other planets, other civilizations. What did like, he bring back with it, though? He sheep on bringing back shit. They wouldn't let him take a picture of that shit. <laughs> they let him take a picture of, the, of their ship. Yeah. But the fact that they even took them, like, bro, I believe that shit, though. Because you got to think about this, man. A lot of stuff about our civilization, whether we like to believe it or not, is very extraterrestrial. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of these buildings that we have now, they're old. And this stuff that, that we've been building... But it's newer shit that we building not, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shit that's kind of <clears throat> fucking us up that we don't even realize. Like Wi-Fi and shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cell phones. They talking about 5G was fucking exactly. up or whatever and shit. So I'm and a lot of this that stuff that we our bodies are now connected to that we don't even know because they put a lot of stuff in these medicines. You know what I'm saying? Nanotech has come a long way. They was even saying this nanotech spores on the motherfucking uh, sticks they was putting inside people with nose for COVID. What is it? Nanotech. There was in on those, Oh yeah, yeah, on yeah, little, yeah, man. On little uh, cotton swabs. Right to the know. brain, dude. Right, direct line to the brain. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, that's cute, Wow. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I don't know if you guys. We're like right on the cusp of this, man. <laughs> like we're right on the cusp of like, like he like Josh has brought up like light is the most advanced form of sound right it is man you know what i mean like there's so many things like the metal reacting to emotional technology or another side note too this was about to get off on the consciousness but there's this podcast i was watching with this it was called the moreau institute you guys need to look this oh up. i heard that crazy so the moreau institute the guy was coming on he's one of the ambassadors for it 
was talking about humans can be trained in their level of consciousness to predict future outcomes, interact with beings, i.e. extraterrestrials or whatever in that case. But he talks about just the ability to future predict. The CIA would recruit these people, oh, yeah. right? And would be able to uh, astral project these people into a building to see what the event is, report it back to them with like, very high accuracy. Some were better than others, and it could be trained up, though, what they were talking about. But one guy was so good at it, he never missed it ever. He predicted the exact build, release date, design, everything of a Russian nuclear sub that the CIA was trying to spawn down to the T. Everything about it. It was good. There was another story of him talking about the uh, girl got lost around in his town. Police were calling, hey, like, we need to find this girl. Within seconds on the phone, go a thousand some paces this way at this, you know, angle or, you know, northeast at this degrees. Then go up that hill and yell, you'll find her. Hung up. Police is like, nah, no, are you sure? He's like, yeah, I'm sure. Go. So they go out there. They're at the hill, right, where they told him, the guy told him to walk up. And they're like, well, you know, based on our deal, like, it doesn't make sense that a Lost child will go up the hell. He's like, no, you're going to find her. Like, do it. Goes up there, yells out. She's in a cabin at the top of the hill. And he predicted and found that girl. Crazy. Have you ever, have, have you ever seen a, a movie called The Man Who Stare at Goats? No. Uh -oh. Man, you, gotta, no one for me again. Man, you should be taking some notes on these movies. Man. <laughs> well, you'll be able to play it back on all so, over be kiss that ass. Everything you know? that you're talking about, right, is a part of that... Uh, that, that military project is called the men who stare at goats and it's actually where they got um star wars from right it, it's pretty deep bro you know what i'm saying and the whole thing is that they was calling them uh what was it psychic it was psychic warriors or something mm -hmm. like that though but that's actually one of my favorite movies man it was practicing on um, being able to stare at a being and kill it so one of the guys actually stared at a goat for two hours and the goat heart stopped. You know what I'm saying? It and the whole movie is based off a true story. And actually one of the guys, which I think is the guy you're talking about, because he was actually the best one they had who could do that. Um, he actually had found uh, over in uh France, it was a soldier that they had held captive, and he found him. Um it was over some type of cafe. I think he said it was called Dolce, and he was, they was holding him oh. hostage. He, yeah, he just, he knew it, he seen him, and they found the guy, right? Where That's he crazy. Said, you know what I'm saying? And it was so crazy, because the guy, his aura energy was so powerful, his electromagnetic field around his body was so it's powerful, lot. that um, he actually would shut down computers whenever he was around him. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Um, they actually have an exercise in that movie they talk about that I've actually practiced and it's very powerful. It's called cloud bursting. You know what I'm saying? Punching holes in clouds with your mind. Oh, you can do what? it. You can do it. You should practice it one day. It's very, it's very potent, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because you can see your energy at play and then you start to realize how everything moves within you and out and externally. You know what I'm saying? So the movie Men Who Stares at Goats is is what you're talking about it, it, and it's so crazy because uh -oh. old boy had got uh the book of them is uh they have a book that was like for all their new recruities you know what i'm saying and george lucas had got a hold of the book and made star wars off of that shit wow that's crazy. psychic warriors man. that's crazy yeah i mean fuck just stare at a damn goat for two hours and kill kill him dead Done. But that can tell you the power of thought, though. You know what I'm saying? Reality is a lot crazier than we realize it is. Even if you That's think crazy. about how we perceive colors, right? Every color that we see is actually an absence of set color. So that color is the only color not coming back into your eye, right? Yeah. So you see the blue, but you're really seeing every other color except that blue. That's how you see that blue. So reality works the same way. We really see everything except what... You're looking at dog. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. That reminds me, man. That reminds me of uh, the. I was in a psychology class, and there 
there was this theory that got, well, not even really a theory, it's just a fact principle is that mm-hmm. you don't live in base present reality. No, you don't. Because your brain from your sight to travel to the nerve to the brain is is lagged. Yeah. By such and such whatever amount of a fraction of a second, whatever the case is, right? But you don't fully live in like base, base, present reality, just time wise in that sense, right? Because it's always perceived by a lag from it, right? You're always in this constant state of lag behind, but it's perceived as present, but it's always slightly behind where it's at. And even think about how um, your your eyes, right? Your eyes, they stay on one side, but they're really not on that side. Like your eyes are crisscrossed to your brain. You know what I'm saying? So when oh, you watch, yeah, yeah, yeah. see what I'm saying? So it's so it's so deep because not only is it crisscrossed, but your mind has to actively flip reality. Yeah. So you got to think about it, like when you talk to people that don't understand how to perceive reality for real, right? They don't understand that up is down and down is up. Our brain flips it so we can see it's it crazy. certain kind of ways. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> crazy, man. It's so crazy. when you talk to people about the pyramids, you're like, oh, really? It was built from upside down. <laughs> but that also goes back into the colors. You're seeing everything except that. <clears throat> Reality is the same way. You know what I'm saying? Because if everything is based off a of color and we see everything except that color and that's the what color we see, what are we really looking at? This whole thing is a hologram, bro. Nothing, none of this is real, technically. That's crazy. Yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. We work with alien probably. Yeah, and, that's, and that's exactly <laughs> what I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. A lot of these people who are doctors are not human. And they pushing these motherfucking medicines on people, right? They're slowly changing them. If you could terraform a planet, you could terraform a body. Even since so, since the COVID vaccine, right? I don't know if y'all seen these stories, but a lot of the morticians, right, are saying that they've been finding different body parts in people, more what? more veins than they had arteries, different type of stuff in their bodies. The synthetic shit since the COVID vaccine. It, that's what I'm saying. Our bodies are small Earths. If you could terraform the Earth, you could terraform the body. And that's how, what's going on. We are solely being changed. Our planet is being changed. But people don't see these changes. That's why if you look at some people, they're just stupid. They don't know. But it's not because they don't know that makes them stupid. It's just because they just uh, stupid. Something I'm exposed to, man. And no, it's not that. Some people are just dumb, dog. Like they not they not meant to have a deeper thought. Right. Not a lot of people now they they have a term for them. They call them NPCs now. Computers. But we all computers though. But these are people that are not meant Program to grow no, further than what they've just been at base level. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm gonna be doing me some damn research. I'm gonna go back and listen to some of this that you been talking about right For off. For real, I'm gonna look at some of that. Where, shit. where, where does this go, man? Like, what, what is the full extent of this? Of like, of consciousness of- to realize you God, though. That's what. That's what ultimately what you have to realize fundamentally. Everything is leading you back to realize that you are God. In the terms of that, even when they tell you in these holy books that when you die, you go back to the source, right? So if you go back to source, that means you are always piece of source, right? This, this doesn't take away any less power than what you have. You know what I mean? So you are God and we're all God, but we're all people. We all the same person living life from different perspectives to gain a greater perspective of, of everything. That's why science tell you, bro, you, your molecules in your body are composed of the same thing that stars and planets are composed of. We are made of all the same things. We're no different than the planet itself. So if we're all one with the entire universe, uni, which means one. Exactly. Woo, shit. I'm gone. Boy, you, I'm just. <laughs> yeah, man, that's true. <laughs> Yeah. That's crazy. I'm, I'm just posting some questions to me, boy, <laughs> that it got me, got my mind on here spinning, and I ain't lying. I'm gonna like, well, shit. This about the, the earth, the hollow, the this in the earth, that. In the, I ain't never thought about none of that shit. 
I know that we're not the only ones here. You know why you never thought about it? Because they tell us that motherfucking getting a job and making money is so much more important. Crazy. But if you pay attention to like our ancestor, ancestor dog, they always, everything is about going out into the world, learning, exploring. Doing shit motherfuckers ain't never did before. Why did we stop doing that shit? Because motherfuckers found something. And they don't want you to know about it. You know what I'm saying? So now we all got to sit still. Go to school. Get a job. Stay in that one place. Maybe chow. Maybe chow every now and then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn. But that's the reality that made for us though. Because we have this weak ass concept of money. So we got to get it. Before motherfuckers had that money, motherfuckers was moving around, dog. Yeah. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now you got kids that move around because they family in the military and they get PTSD and shit like that. I never had any friends. Back in the day, motherfuckers was making moms and staying in tune with, staying in tune with motherfuckers through goddamn notes on birds, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, Messenger pigeon. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Tell us, I'm going to send you a letter. It, you know what I'm saying? It'll be that motherfucking... Uh, Three sunrises and eight moons. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That type of shit. All right, all right. <laughs> 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 all right, y'all. I'm saying, it's, it's definitely going to be a part two to this. Y'all know I like to go about an hour. We've been going about 50 minutes. It's definitely going to be another part to this because goddamn shit, I'm about... It gets deeper. I'll, yeah, I'm sure. I, I just don't know how we like dig it all up, man. Like, how do we, how do we just dig all? I feel like we're on the cusp of it, man. Like, we're, I, we're hitting on the outside. We might be wrong on some things, but we might be really right on some. I, I don't think you're on the cusp, dog. I think you right there in, in the meat and potatoes of it. You just don't. You, you're not accepting it. You know what I'm saying? You got to dig into what they call your Akashic re- records, man. You know what that is? No. Everything that's ever been and everything that ever will be is in the information that's in your DNA. That's in like an eternal library for the universe. You know it all. It's just whether or not you really want the information. And are you going to be able to um, process it once it's given to you? Because some people get this information they ask and just start fucking malfunctioning. Do not compute, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So, <laughs> can you accept it? So, you think, like, some of this information is so potent, it could cause NPCs to short out. Yeah. Like, just. And that's why I like. Can understand. That's why I like to talk to NPCs about shit like this, bro. Because then they, they start to learn that they are NPCs. You can wake them up, though. It's like, um,. The Matrix, how everybody who was connected to the Matrix was an agent, whether they realize it or not. The agent could become anybody who was connected to the Matrix, Mm -hmm. right? But once you woke up, they couldn't be you no more. And anybody can wake up. But some people choose not to wake up. Just like that one motherfucker who went back into the Matrix, like, I know the stank ain't real, but this motherfucker tastes so good. (laughs) Some people want to be asleep because the truth is too much for them. They can't handle it. But I was born for this information, man. Yeah. Damn sure got it. All righty. Well, we got to get ready to break <laughs> on up out of here. And uh, I, I, what I know what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to find me another part. Uh, and we're going to probably be at another location mm. where I got somebody else that's knowledgeable in that like you are. Because I'm just sitting right over with my mouth wide open like, well, goddamn. But uh, any last words you got over there? Uh, what, what you want me to call you? What? I forgot you want me to what you call me. Uh, Tunes, fine. Tunes. Tunes. What you got, Tunes? Tunes. Man, we got goons and goblins out here. We got lizard men within the higher up societies. I don't know what's going on anymore. Consciousness seems to be very expansive, and you know, there's a little more behind the veil. That's what we got going on. So obviously, we're gonna have to dig this out. Like I said, Josh says I'm in the middle of it. I feel like I'm on the cusp. I don't know what's going on. So I don't know how Paul feels then, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, yeah. when you, sometimes when you lost, that's when you truly found, though. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, we'll <laughs> figure out what's uh, you know, what's going on at some point. All right, all right, all right. What, what you got over there for? Man, everybody, just man, stay open to the information that's coming to you. And um, hey, if there's any extraterrestrials out there who trying to you know holler at your boy, you know what I mean? Come at me. You know what I mean? If you come with prejudice, you know what I'm saying, you will be met with destruction. But 
I'm a loving, I'm a loving deity. So yeah, you know I mean, I'm willing to share knowledge and love with you. I mean, you know. All right, that's what's up. Make sure they know how to how to follow you again, your, your website and all that other shit. You yeah, man, you can, uh, so they know what's up and shit. You can you know? hit me up at After Real Truth on Google, and uh, from that you'll find my podcast, which is Cosmic Currency Seven Seven Seven. Um, my clothing brand, which is After Real Truth. And I just have After Real Truth on all my social medias from Facebook to Instagram to Twitter or X or whatever people call it that. Right, 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 yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Well, guys, I both I thank both you guys for being on the show. I mean, I was I, I was quiet because uh, I, I'm taking in a whole lot. It's a lot. You know, and, and a whole lot. <laughs> it's but a lot. Always, I believe that a lot going we on. are not the only ones here in this world, in this universe. And I've talked with some people at work. They feel the same way. Matter of mm-hmm. fact, they was waiting on this podcast to hear what was going to be said. And I tried to get it going live, but I'm not that tech with it yet. So, But that's okay. I'll get it probably for the next one. But uh, they're waiting on that because they believe the same way that there's more of us here. And, yeah. you know, we could be walking, working with them right now and don't even know it. I think the, I think the biggest so, thing is just to break down kind of the societal view on, like, if you believe in UFOs or some of these other things on like consciousness or stuff like that, that it's not like that far fetched. A lot of people are starting to question stuff and wake up, particularly just let's say for UFOs now. I mean, there's people, majority of people I would say in the U.S. are starting to wake up to question it. So uh, it's not like it's a foreign idea like it used to be, you know, way back like you were a Star Wars movie. Yeah, so, open and yeah. like you were saying earlier, I, I really believe that the movies are showing us. Yeah, they got to give you the information. Us and, you know, really, we fail to believe it or not. I really believe that when we watch that movie and then at some point that car, like the fucking Jetsons, for example, they making flying They cars got it now. Right, right now. Yo. You know, all that shit that we saw Yo. then. Star Trek, how they had the machine. It's like, oh, man, I want this. They 3D printing. Got they got it. You know got it. Right? So they had to show us. Yeah. And we. To lead the way. To, yeah. And so it, it's definitely out there. And then you have this AI and chat GBT and all kind of shit. But anyway, guys, I thank y'all for coming on for the damn show. I mean, it was. It's always an honor. It, it was well worth it. I, I was totally lost, but I'm, I will be found. Uh, thank you everybody out there for watching Wizzo Talk. Make sure y'all check us out on uh, TikTok. It's on YouTube. Uh, we're going to get this here uploaded. And uh, that's kind of almost all I got. Because I'm still just, my mind is just fucking going. But uh, it's Paul Wizzo. We make shit happen around here. And remember, it's always free to like, share, and subscribe. It don't cost you anything. Just hit the like button, hit the share. And shit, I think that's about all I got. Bless. You got anything there? That's it.